Hello Year 6, here is your Wednesday lesson. So to start with we're going to look at idioms, clothes this time. It's got one of my favourite ones on this slide. Put your thinking cap on, take some time to think. Thinking caps on, this is going to be a tricky question. Pull your socks up, I like this one. To make an, an effort to improve your... Your two words today are recommend and program, both with double M. Okay then, so now we are going to look at our lesson for today. So we're going to plan an informal letter. So first of all, you're going to be able to plan a letter, group similar information together and infer thoughts and feelings. Of course, you, he doesn't say how he feels or what his thoughts are, but you have to imagine what they are, looking at the images and what happens and his faces his face during all the different events throughout the film. The Christmas truce, what happened? As Christmas drew near and care packages again um, began to arrive from home, the soldiers who had fought in the trenches for months on end began to wish for a truce. A truce means an end to the warfare. Suddenly, surrounding towns, villages and support associations generously gave warm clothes and letters to, of thanks. Common gifts included chocolate, butterscotch, cigarettes and tobacco. With boosted morale and more than usual to eat, the Christmas spirit entered the trenches and a truce began on 24th of December 1914. In some areas, German soldiers decorated their trenches with small Christmas trees with candles in them. This prompted carol singing and even some meetings in no man's land. This was the first time that opponents had met, even if just briefly, in no man's land. Later that night, with candles visible up on the edge of their trenches, the Germans began singing carols for the British, so British soldiers. After a silent Christmas morning with no shooting or bombing, both troops and officers ventured into no man's land. At one place on the line, the Germans and British played a game of football. In other places on the line, Christmas began on a sadder note as both sides took the opportunity to seek out their fallen comrades and provide a proper burial. For some units, the truce ended the next day, while for others, the truce continued past Boxing Day and even until New Year's Day, a whole week later. We are going to watch this clip again. As you watch, consider these questions. Who is involved? This occurred on Christmas Day. Do you think this would have happened on any other day? Why do you think that?
The key events that happened, so hearing the German soldiers sing in silent night, leaving the trench telling the German soldier that they are not a threat, threat, 
coming together on no man's land and playing football. Okay, now it's your turn. You need to plan a letter home. You are going to be writing in the role as Jim. So you are Jim, you are the uh, soldier that stepped out onto no man's land. You are writing to your girlfriend or wife called Rose. She's the person that sent you the letter with a picture and you sent, and she also sent you some chocolate, which you later gave to Otto. Okay, so first we have to plan your letter. I have given you an example of how I would plan out my letter. These are also on your sheet. Please feel free to cross them out and use your own ideas. This is just a guide if you're not quite sure what to do. For example, paragraph one, why are you writing? You need to always have an introductory paragraph at the start of the letter to inform the person about why you're writing to them. Paragraph two, what was your week like leading up to Christmas? Thinking about a normal week in the trenches, explain how hard it is. Paragraph three, what happened on Christmas Day? How was this different and surprising to any other day so far? Paragraph four, what effect had this, has this had on you? Think about how you may view the German soldiers that are fighting against you compared to how you felt about them the day before. Paragraph five, could be, what are your hopes for the near and distant future? Okay, so in paragraph one, I've written in note form to begin with that you're, I'm missing home, I'm missing Rose. And then I just wanted to add a sentence that I don't forget. I wanted to write something very surprising happened just so you will never believe in. So if you've got any great ideas, make sure you write it as a sentence, um, like me, so you don't forget what you're going to write. So, your turn. Plan your letter. Use your notes from yesterday's lesson. Write in note form and sentences where needed. Although I have labelled the boxes paragraph one, etc., you can still write two or more paragraphs within that box if you need to. Number five, my questions in each box are only there as a guide. Please feel free to cross mine out and use your own questions um, and ideas. These are just a guide in case you were not sure as to what to write. Okay, enjoy your learning. Thank you, guys.